Hi, my name is Shungda and today you're watching uh, me reviewing the Lens Baby Composer which is right in front of me or right in front of you. Uh, the Lens Baby Composer here has a double glass and um, I have to say people say it's a tilt shift lens but I disagree it's a more of a tilt spot focus lens. Uh, why I say that is because it has a sharp center focus and basically all the side and the rest is very soft so you want to yeah kind of it's does the sh tilt shift effect kinda but not really so you want to uh, yeah if you really want to have the tilt shift effect probably lens working be more of the effect However, yeah, lens whacking does is more heavy on the hands because you are holding the lens quite, uh, yeah, loose from the camera. And uh, with the tilt shift, especially the composer, it's more of, yeah, you can set it up and it keeps shooting the way you want it. And I uh, have to say, uh, yeah, if you buy it, the big tip is don't buy it for the Canon itself, if you are using it on the Canon or on an EOS, Canon EOS DSLR, uh, basically buy it for uh, either a Nikon or the M42 mount. Uh, why am I saying that? Basically, uh, when you buy the Compose and any actually uh, lens baby uh, lens, it doesn't have the AF focus chip. Uh, if you want to have the AF focus chip, you basically buy one that is not for the Canon and use an adapter and you can basically buy a cheap adapter with an AF chip. With What the AF chip does is uh, when you look at the viewfinder there are dots in there you can basically choose one of the dots and basically uh, the dots will confirm if something is in focus which helps a lot uh, especially if you have a lot of the dots in the higher range of the cameras. Uh, with the Rebel you have only 9 dots so it's a little bit helpful uh, also uh, the process of using this lens basically the first 10 minutes you got it uh, it's very exciting it's something new and basically you want to learn it uh, first hour becomes really really dreadful as it's not going to do a lot of stuff you actually want it to do and then the second hour it starts uh, yeah you start actually learning how to use it and a lot of interesting images will start to come up um, the tilt shift effect actually doesn't really look very toyish uh, the if you shoot a toy miniature set with it uh, it would look but if you look at these pictures uh, with high shots of actually scenes it doesn't look much toyish uh, the however you, you do get more of a centered focus you can see you're pulled towards the spot where the focus is and uh, the lens wide open I don't really use it wide open as it's really really soft this is soft too soft to use it for my taste maybe for a certain effect that you want to get uh, however uh, if you stop down just with one of the rings uh, you get uh, f2.8 or f4 you already get a lot of sharpness back and basically you still have like the spot focus uh, if you go too far beyond everything probably get in focus uh, the Aperture is changed in a different manner than most lenses. Most lenses have an aperture ring or you can change it inside the camera itself. However, with this you have to change it with uh, a magnet and basically pull out the ring and replace the ring. And uh, if, yeah, probably you don't want to move it that much or it's really annoying to move it that much. Uh, so uh, for now I actually always keep mine on f2.8 uh, if you're really into the sharpness area probably f4 would be better but it's a bit dark uh, if basically the yeah the 
main conclusion with this lens is basically you have to have a lot of time to set it up the setup time to move it about uh, it's not worth it to shoot an event with this lens uh, if you have a lot of crew and you just purposely have to get that shot with quickly setting this up uh, maybe uh, if you're just a lone crew, uh, one person, uh, one man band, don't try it because too much wasting of time to just get this shot. Um, yeah, you probably, uh, yeah, it's not a lens you probably have to have, but it's not that pricey that uh, you you can experiment with it if you really really want to try it out uh, even buying a second hand is really really cheap at the moment so you can go for it if you really want uh, I have to say uh, there are certain kinds of shots especially in Japanese music videos or kind of romantic music or interesting music videos you can use this lens uh, for commercial stuff you can use it especially when you got a lot of time to experiment with stuff but doing really like last minute or really uh, limited time stuff you don't want to waste time with this lens because probably better be um, yeah, getting the tilt, actual tilt shift effect in post however the bokeh on this lens is quite interesting as it's a speed kind of bokeh and yeah it does have its own look so you can't really produce the actual same look with uh, post-production um, yeah that was mainly it uh, yeah if you like this video uh, please subscribe if you have any questions please comment below and I'll hope to see you next time bye bye